God gave me this message, and I just want to share it with you today. It's coming from Matthew, uh, the 15th chapter, and it's something that Jesus was speaking of. So I'd like to share it with you. When I share this with you, I just want you to know this is not judging you. When God, when I look at the scriptures and read the scriptures he speaks to me first before he before he allows me to speak to anyone else or share it with anyone else so first God's dealing with me about the scripture and then I just want to pass it on and share it with you so Matthew 15 chapter starting at the 16th verse Says, are you still dull? When I mean when I say dull, it's D U L L. Are you still lacking in understanding also? Are you still so dull and unable to put things together? Don't any of you know by now? what I am talking about. You are still no more intelligent than the others. Are you still so ignorant? Even after all these, are you still so foolish? Or even you Jesus said, are you still without intelligence? Do you not understand that everything that goes into the mouth passes into the stomach and it is eliminated? Don't you know that everything that goes into the mouth passes into the stomach and then is expelled as waste the food you put into your mouth goes into your stomach and then out of your body anything that goes into your mouth goes into your stomach and then on out of your body whatever enters the mouth goes into the stomach and then is eliminated anything you eat pass through the stomach and then goes into the sewer but the words that come out of your mouth comes from your heart and they are what makes you unfit to worship God the words you speak come from your heart that's what defiles you and whatever word comes out of the mouth come from the come from this And this is what defiles and dishonors the person. And it is those things that make a person unclean. These are the things that make you ritually unclean. For out of the heart comes evil intentions evil ideas, wicked thoughts, evil thoughts, verbal abuse, blasphemy, evil speaking, irrelevant speech, empathy of speech, insulting insulting others slanderous statements 
from your heart comes the evil ideas which lead you to kill. So out of the heart come forth whore them, whore them. I'll repeat that again. Out of the heart comes forth whore them. W-H-O-R-E D-O-M-S Whoredoms. Also sexual sins Fornication, do do other immoral things, unfaithfulness in marriage, act of adultery, other than immoral sexual acts. Let me repeat that again: acts, act of adultery, other, or more other immoral sexual acts all sexual immorality lying testimonies telling lies robbing and stealing these are what defile a person these are what defile you These are what makes you unclean. These are the things that make you unclean and dishonored. So eating without washing your hands will not make you unfit to worship God. But to eat without washing your hands, as they say you should, this doesn't make you unclean. To eat with unwashed hands doesn't, does not defile anyone. So I'm going to leave you with that. God bless you and I hope that you receive this word with good intent. God bless you.